What Really Happened to Delta Burke? Star in Designing Women. Delta Burke was born Delta Ramona Leah Burke on July 30, 1956, in Orlando, Florida, to a single mother, Jean. Frederick Burke, an Orlando realtor, adopted her after marrying her mother. She has never met her biological father. Burke has two younger siblings, a brother, Jonathan, and a sister, Jennifer. In 1972, she won the Miss Flame crown from the Orlando Fire Department and went on to become State Miss Flame. In her senior year of high school, she won the Miss Florida title for 1974. She was the youngest Miss Florida title holder in pageant history. Burke won a talent scholarship from the Miss America organization, allowing her to attend a two year study program at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Graduated from Colonial High School in 1974, and won the senior superlative most likely to succeed. The ups and downs of life, always with the people living and breathing on this blue globe. Life will have its own set of messes in a time when we can't predict it. Burke has been married to actor Gerald McCranny since May 28, 1989. The couple has no children together although McCranny has adult children from his prior marriages. Burke and McCranny's primary residence is in Los Angeles, California. They also own a house in Telluride, Colorado, and one in New Orleans, Louisiana. Burke has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Next to the base button, Burke has compulsive hoarding syndrome, for which she received therapy. At one time I had 27 storage units. I don't have a big enough house. She said. My mom had it. It's my mother's fault. She saved the diaper I came home from the hospital in. The downside of each person's life is different. Our job now has to face them. Everyone has to be sad sometimes. And to forget this girl's sad story, let's talk about this beautiful and glamorous girl's passion for acting right now. In 1974, as part of winning Miss Florida, Burke appeared on the ABC TV show Bozo the Clown, filmed in Orlando, Florida. She worked as the magical assistant to Herbert L. Becker. The two worked together for six months. In 1980, Burke portrayed the role of the second Bonnie Sue Chisholm in the CBS Western miniseries, The Chisholms. Burke spent a year on Filthy Rich in 1982 playing the wily young widow, Kathleen Beck. After that, she played female football team owner Diane Barrow on 1st and 10 from 1984 to 1986. In 1986, Burke was cast as Suzanne Sugarbaker in the CBS sitcom Designing Women. She left 1st and 10 in order to appear on the show. Designing Women was created by Linda Bloodworth Thomason, who had previously cast Burke in her show Filthy Rich. The show was set at an interior design firm in Atlanta headed by four women, and Burke was one of the show's four female leads. The show struggled in the ratings and was even briefly cancelled after its first year. But in 1989 began to get respectable ratings after being paired with the sitcom Murphy Brown. Burke became the show's breakout star and earned two consecutive nominations for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1990 and 1991. She was the only lead female cast member of the show to be nominated. That same year, Burke asked Thomason to write an episode addressing her weight. The episode, They Shoot Fat Women, Don't They?, had Suzanne Sugarbaker going to her 15-year high school reunion and having her feelings hurt after hearing disparaging remarks about her weight. Her performance on this episode is said to have led to her receiving her first Emmy nomination as Best Actress. Since the early 1990s, Burke's weight has been a subject of discussion in the tabloid press. Her struggles with weight, depression, and eating disorders stretch back to her pageant days in the early 1970s. She became a much parodied figure in the press due to the media's incessant obsession with her weight, including in a skit on Saturday Night Live, wherein Leon Phelps from The Ladies' Man has a sexual fixation with her. 
In 1990, Burke publicly expressed dissatisfaction with the show in a televised interview with Barbara Walters and other media outlets. She argued on Entertainment Tonight that there was a labor dispute, and actors were often forced to work over 15 hours per day, with executives even blocking the doors and keeping actors on set. She also said that Dixie Carter, who had once been her close friend and maid of honor at her wedding to Gerald McCranny, was not speaking to her as Carter sided with her bosses. At the end of the fifth season of Designing Women in 1991, Burke was fired from the show due to her contentious relations with Carter and the Thomasons. Burke was given her own vehicle with the sitcom Delta in 1992, in which she portrayed an aspiring country music singer. She dyed her hair blonde for the role. When ratings plummeted, Burke became a brunette again. The series was cancelled after one season. In 1995, she and Linda Bloodworth Thomason reconciled their differences, and Burke returned as Suzanne Sugarbaker in the Designing Women spin-off Women of the House, but that show also met an early demise. It took more than a decade for Burke and Carter to reconcile, but they did so when Burke guest starred in an episode of Family Law, on which Carter was a regular cast member. Burke has been a leading actress in a number of television films and had a supporting role in the Mel Gibson film What Women Want. In the early 2000s, she co-starred with David Alan Greer on the sitcom Dag. She had lost much of her excess weight for the role after being diagnosed with diabetes. Burke made her Broadway debut in September 2003, when she starred as Mrs. Mears in the musical Thoroughly Modern Millie. She was the third actress to play the role in the production, after Harriet Harris and Terry Burrell. In 2002, she reunited onscreen with Carter in a guest appearance on Carter's series Family Law. She also played Bella Horowitz during a five-episode arc on Boston Legal as a former flame of William Shatner's character, Denny Crane, in season three. She played the role until February 2004 before being succeeded by her Designing Women co-star Dixie Carter. Burke then played the role of Truvy in the original Broadway production of Steel Magnolias, playing the role for the show's entire four-month run from April 4 to July 31, 2005. Burke appeared in a Hallmark Channel film, Bridal Fever, which aired February 2, 2008. In March 2012, Burke was cast in the ABC comedy pilot Counter Culture. However, after Burke fell on the set, production of the pilot was suspended and it was not picked up to series. The story of this lovely face girl, derived from empathy, what she has experienced is really emotional to me. And best of all to Delta Burke. Don't be sad anymore, the old story will pass.